It's now 9 minutes to 8 o'clock. Bear in mind, snow expected sometime in the middle of this morning between 2 and 5 centimeters. Back in September, we brought you the story of one man's fight with the TTC. David Lepofsky is a Toronto lawyer who's blind. He wanted the TTC to ask its conductors to announce subway stops over the PA system to help people like him get around. But the TTC said no. Well, guess what's happened now? The TTC has changed its mind. We have David Lepofsky on the line. Also joining us this morning is the TTC's head of service delivery, Jerry Broly. Good morning to you both. Now they're with us, I think. Uh, Mr. Broly, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, good to have you with us. Good morning. Uh, when we spoke a few months ago, you said the TTC wouldn't announce subway stops. Now I understand that's going to start in the new year. Why the change? Well, a number of things. I guess in two words, David Leposky is the catalyst in the in the uh, initiative. The uh, we uh, had a plan that was agreeable to the CNIB and uh, other uh, agencies, and uh, we're proceeding on that basically to provide safety features in the subway as a first priority, the yellow edge markings and so forth in the stations. Uh, as uh, David brought to our attention the need for the uh, stop announcements, we had a number of concerns uh, that uh, from past experience about that. Uh, we met with uh, with David uh, and uh, went over our concerns and, and his requirements, and uh, between uh, uh, resolving a number of those and also the fact that we have just completed the installation of a new subway car speaker system, which overcame a lot of the, uh, the previous, we believe will overcome a lot of the difficulties that we had, uh, we, uh, we have agreed to do that. So what exactly will we hear in the new year? Uh, the uh, crew on the train will be announcing as they leave the previous station the name of the next station. You saw so as an example, you would hear Jane, next station, a pause, and then Jane. David Lepofsky, uh, what difference will this make to you now? Well, I think that for myself and for other blind and visually impaired uh, subway users, this will make the use of uh, the subway um, much easier, and in fact will assist in put us, putting us on the same uh, uh, footing as sighted uh, subway patrons so that we will be able to use the subway to ride it to know what stop we're coming up to without having to memorize and hold in our head uh, all the names of the subway stations and hope that you don't lose count. You must be quite gratified this morning. Uh, Mr. Broly was crediting you with this change. Well, I'm uh, personally, I'm pleased. I'm pleased uh, that the, the TTC uh, gave the matter second thought after we sat down and had a discussion. And uh, I think as well, uh, credit goes to, frankly, Matt, to you and, uh, and the CBC for having given this uh, issue some attention back in June because as a result of the interview I did on your show, uh, there was a tremendous amount of uh, public response. I know to me, I know to your program, and I suspect to the TTC, and that it, it frankly helped uh, um, assist the TTC in reflecting on the issue again. And to their credit, uh, changing their mind and agreeing to direct their uh, their drivers to to go ahead with this. Mr. Broly, when we did talk on the program last September, you were saying then that you planned a new high-tech uh, audio system, but it wouldn't be in place until late 96 or 97. Is that still in the works? Uh, yes, that is still in the works. Uh, we hope to have uh, the first part of the system up by the middle of next year, 1995, and to have it fully installed by the fall of 96. What triggered the change beyond what we did here on the program and David's crusade, because that was in place when we spoke in September? Was there a single event, uh, a single phone call? What exactly made you say, okay, enough's enough, we've got to change our plan? Well, as I uh, said back in September, we had a number of concerns, both with the, uh, the ability to make the announcements consistently uh, because of our uh, our system is all, is not designed specifically for that purpose, and uh, and any communications with with the control center can interfere with the ability to do that. When we sat down with uh, David Leposky, he indicated that uh, uh, he could uh, live, and the the visually impaired community could live with uh, with stations not being called because of circumstances that we were under the feeling that we had to be fairly consistent. In the announcement of those uh, those stops, we also talked uh, went out at that time and and sort of polled our operators to see what their reaction. Most of their concerns uh, to undertaking that was the speaker system. As I said previously, we have now completed a reinstallation of, of new subway car speakers, and so uh, that should uh, take care of that concern. Matt, just to to elaborate. Um 
when we uh, sat down after we did the interview on, on your program, uh, I made it clear that uh, everybody understands that uh, if a, a driver gets busy and they can't call a particular station, we'll survive. We can't expect perfection, but we look. We appreciate the, the TTC making its best efforts. I think another concern that, that had been raised previously was how would the ridership react. When the TTC tried this about 20 years ago, they got a certain number of complaints from uh, some and I suspect a minority of the members of the public are going, like, why do we have to listen to these announcements? As a result of the interview that I did on your program, uh, I, was, I was absolutely struck by the number of people who said, you know, that they, they'd have absolutely no objection to these announcements being made on the subway. In fact, they, they kind of wondered why they weren't being done already. And I'd like to just take this opportunity to just say directly to the public, um, this will be a change for you. This will be a new thing when you're riding the subway, uh, when you're reading your paper or whatever. But... It's important that the public understand that the reason these are being announced is uh, to assist blind and visually impaired subway riders, to assist sighted subway riders who who don't read English and therefore can't read the posted signs, and frankly, to assist everybody on the train during rush hour who can't see out the window to see what the name of the stops are uh, posted on the wall, and that uh, uh, we we welcome the the, the good people of Toronto's uh, indulgence uh, with this change, but it's being done for, for an important reason, and a reason that I think the public will accept. Well, David, I suspect most of the people, if not all the people listening this morning, were happy to hear this announcement. So thanks to you and thanks to Mr. Broly for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Have a good morning. David Lepofsky is a Toronto lawyer who's blind. Jerry Broly is the TTC's general manager of service delivery.